We are known as the world's most famous taffy store, basically because we are on the world's most famous beach. Corn syrup and sugar are the basic ingredients for all taffy that we make. We incorporate egg whites, food coloring and flavoring depending on what it's going to be. We actually put it onto our old fashioned puller. And that's what makes it soft, right? That's what's going to make it soft, that's what's going to make it very pliable. You got black walnut, blueberry cobbler, guava, honey, Irish cream. We really have a pretty much a flavor for anybody. I love that, fantastic. Tell me what it means like to work on Daytona Beach every day, right? There's just no other better place to work than on a beach. I love it. It's awesome. Teams, welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida! Yeah. We're here with all of our entire cast and crew. We're talking racing, we're talking food trucks, we're talking donuts. This is Donald Summerlin of world famous Donnie's Donuts. Please give him a round of applause. Yeah. Teams, for our first challenge here, you're gonna be crafting one donut and crank at as many as possible in one hour. And Donald here is gonna be judging. Smells good, right? It does smell good. Smell donuts. Donuts. Right. It's a good taste in donuts, nice and neat and compact. Nice texture on the outside. I like the glaze. Yeah. So that was cool, man. We just wrapped up the donut challenge here at Daytona Beach, and now we're going to check out Donnie's Donuts, man. Um, I hear it's just some of the best donuts in America, and I'm dying to check them out. How you doing? Oh, thank you so much. So, Donnie, why donuts? I love donuts. We're, we're making chocolate donuts? Chocolate donuts, yeah. The water's in there. I'm gonna put the mayonnaise in here. So you're making a chocolate donut using mayonnaise as fat because you need fat inside of a recipe anyway. I think that's kind of cool, man. I love that. That's my wife's trick. Chocolate emulsion. Yeah. Put the dough in here. Cocoa sugar mix. My leavening agent. And this is where it starts to get messy. I can smell the vanilla. I can smell the cocoa. Yep. The beach is right down here. And it's sort of like the Pied Piper. The donut smell goes down to the beach approach and then the donut lovers come up and they have the donut. That's the best advertising ever. This is fascinating, right? And there's like a little gate here that kind of keeps the donuts perfectly in line in the space and so not floating around all over the all over the fryer. Yeah, break one of these open. I want to see it. Wow. Oh, that's perfect, man. Look how soft that is on the inside. That's like the most moist bite a birthday cake, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And you get the great texture, right? So you get the crispy exterior. So as it cools yeah. down, it'll have a crispy on the outside of it. So you'll have a crisp, Yeah. you'll have the moisture, and then you'll have the sweetness from the icing. These are great, dude. Congratulations on everything, man. You've got your amazing donut shop and you and your wife, Patty. I love it, man. Awesome. Nice shot. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so tell me about this Florida grouper, because to me it's one of my favorite fish on the planet. When I come to Florida, I gotta get grouper someplace, right? This black grouper we get most of the time is Gulf of Mexico, yeah. right around Tampa. And tell me about the whole dish you're making tonight. So it's basically a saffron jasmine dirty rice. We're gonna, we have some andouille sausage, we have some peppers and onions, we're gonna add a little crab meat, um, add the rice, and we're gonna serve it with a little bit of a, a smoked green tomato jam. Oh, that sounds and fantastic. And a little, a simple poblant with a little bit of Old Bay in it, just to kind of Florida it a little bit, make it a little Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, blackened food is making a big comeback. Yeah. You saw it here first, right? Oh, yeah. As a kid growing up, you know, I used to pay attention to like culinary trends and like Paul Perdome, what was happening in New Orleans, it was the biggest thing in the oh, world. Oh, yeah, well, he, he's the one that, you know, no one, yeah. he's That's the right. One. And now you're seeing everything kind of come back full circle, which is really fun, right? It's great, man. It's nice and delicate, right? So it's got, it's perfectly cooked all the way through, through smells fantastic. Yeah. And you get like, it smells spicy. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of sauce, man. People like yeah. sauce. People love sauce. They love sauce. Healthy Chef, look at that. Look how. Moist and steamy yeah, and beautiful out. that is, man. Look how beautiful that is. That's a nice job, perfect cook, chef. Try to get that perfect bite. That's a powerhouse dish, chef. It's zesty and spicy all at the same time. The rice with the andouille and the crab, right, it's got a great mouthfeel to it. It's nice and rich. But chef, my favorite bite out of all this is a mix between the smoked tomato jam and the bourbon with the Old Bay. And you can tell I take very dainty TV bites. There you go. <laughs> so nice to, to kind of come a little further up 
Daytona Beach, right? Because most of the people are down there on the boardwalk. But if you go the extra mile? Just a couple miles, three miles down the road. That's right, a little further up, you get something really special. All right, so this is day two, the great food truck race here in Daytona Beach. We are on the boardwalk, right on the coast. Trucks are getting set up, it's gonna be a crazy one. Food trucks, I have in my hands my ledger. Inside of it are the numbers. How are you? Good. Good, what's your name? Sophie. Sophie, what a beautiful name. This is the greatest like restaurant startup show on four wheels. We're gonna give somebody $50,000 at the end of it. Yep. It's not free, but it's not easy, it. it might look reasonably simple on television, man. This is the hardest show ever. That's a wrap here in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. The great food truck race, summer beach battle rages on. Next stop is gonna be Tampa, Florida. Thank you so much for watching The Extra Mile, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for checking out The Extra Mile on Food Network's YouTube page. Make sure you smash that like button, turn on that bell for notifications, and maybe even leave a comment down below of your favorite go-to spots here in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. And we'll see you guys next time on the road.